Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a single file to configure your virtual machine so that you can build a pink image on your own, um, you know, um, host machine. So uh, we got a lot of questions asked on the forum uh, about how to configure their virtual machine uh, to be able to build pink image so people can port the pink framework onto their own boards. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, the first step is to clone the repository onto your local uh, uh, folder. So suppose we have it somewhere. Suppose we have it cloned uh, my own fork, uh, yonqu slash pink, clone onto pink dash vagrant. Uh, and we just, you will just see the ordinary files, but I'm putting additional files, including the Xilinx tools like uh, the Vivado, SDSOC, and Pad Linux. Um, and you can also see a Vagrant file here. So uh, we will later check the configuration there. But uh, since it's going to take a long time to configure the virtual machine, we will just start the Vagrant uh, building process so you, um, you can see what's going on. So the first step, um, so there are two software for you to install on your host side. The first one is the Vagrant software so if you google vagrant and just look for the vagrant software you will probably see this and just download the latest version you will also see some documentation there so you can um, play with it a little bit uh, we'll just skip the installation process for the vagrant file and the second one is the virtual box uh, so we recommend to use the right virtual box for your virtual machine as you can see there's no virtual machine configured right now but the Vagrant file is going to help us on that. So let's just go to the Vagrant um, environment. Uh, I mean the uh, command line. So we're just going to the pink dash Vagrant uh, folder pass. Uh, this in this location we have the Vagrant file located. Uh, so if we just run simply the Vagrant up, it's going to configure the virtual machine for us. Uh, you will see later see some virtual machine being configured on your virtual box uh, software and uh, this is going to take some time uh, so at the same time we'll just uh, uh, look for the vagrant configuration so um, if you see the uh, well it seems like uh, on the background the vagrant file is already I mean the uh, virtual machine is already booted up so the pink underscore VM let's first wait for it to complete to see um, the virtual machine so although you already have the Ubuntu system booted up it doesn't mean that you have the correct uh, or our proper environment setup for building the SD card image because the pink requires additional software uh, to build the uh, image so you can see there's a long list of uh, packages being installed here, uh, but uh, we'll just uh, uh, check something else. So the Ubuntu Xenu login, uh, so just use Vagrant for both username and password. We, log we are logged in. So if we go to, uh, yeah, let's first go to the configuration file so we can better understand how the system is configured. Um, so this is a Vagrant file. So uh, we are using the Ubuntu Xenu 64 official release. Uh, so some people may also want to use Ubuntu 18, but that's not tested for the Pythonix 18.2. So we're using Xilinx uh, 2018.2 version. Uh, but in the documentation, it doesn't say it's supporting uh, Ubuntu 18. So we're just using Ubuntu 16 because it's verified. And then the, there's a synced folder, which is like a folder shared between a host machine and a virtual machine. On the host side, it's read to the path uh, where your Vagrant file is located. On the uh, virtual machine side, it's a slash pink. So this one will be shared with the uh, pink dash Vagrant folder. Uh, so we will later see that in on the virtual machine side. And then there are some very, some configurations that are easy to understand, like the virtual machine name called pink underscore VM, four gigabyte uh, memory, uh, the some video memory, some hard disk uh, mounting 
some CD DVD drive mounted, and then some you know uh, basic configuration for um, folder paths uh, permissions etc. So the first so there's a one script called setup host dot sh which we want to run the first time we boot up the virtual machine, but after it's being done, we don't want to run it every time. So that's the place where we put it here. Um, so it, as a matter of fact, the setup uh, underscore host dot sh is the most time consuming part in this uh, Vagrant uh, process, right? Because it's installing a lot of additional Ubuntu packages. Uh, and then we also need the Ubuntu desktop to be installed. Although it's not necessarily required in the uh, for your uh, for your virtual machine, uh, we just need Ubuntu desktop to be able to install Zilinx tools. Otherwise, we can just ignore this step. Just use headless Ubuntu, uh, like what we did here. Um, like, like sorry, like uh, here, yeah, something like this. We are still able to build it. We are still able to build the uh, SD card image, but um, well, you must have the Zilinx tools installed somewhere um, and then we're going to uh, pause it for now and then wait until the virtual machine is being configured uh, properly so let's just uh, uh, stop here right now well um, the uh, virtual machine is still being configured uh, but I forgot to mention one small thing so if you go to the uh, on the host side I mean, on the uh, virtual machine side, if you go to cd slash pink, you will see all the files there, and it's the same path, it's the same contents as you can see in pink dash vagrant because this is a shared folder between your host machine side and your virtual machine side, right? So you will also see those binary files, the Zilinx tools uh, binary files. You cannot run them right now because you don't have a GUI. Right, so you need to wait until you have the Ubuntu desktop installed. Uh, you know, then you can run those binary files. Okay, so now you have um, the virtual machine configured properly. So you can see our uh, vigorant up command is finally done. So uh, we have all the things that we need, but. Uh, um, all you need to do is to reboot your virtual machine and here's a tricky part you cannot just uh, type in reboot here because um, the uh, Vagrant has not uh, has no clue on uh, the current status of your virtual machine so uh, if you just run reboot there you may probably um, not be able to see the pink a uh, such pink folder shared again with the um, uh, pink dash Vagrant folder as we see so basically you will be losing this uh, shared folder. Uh, so don't run reboot. So the correct thing is to do is in Vagrant uh, terminal, just run Vagrant reload. So Vagrant reload is able to shut down your virtual machine and uh, boot it up again. And uh, once it boots up, you will see, since we have the Ubuntu desktop properly configured, it will just boost up the um, Ubuntu desktop. Let's wait for a bit. Okay, now you have the Ubuntu uh, desktop so don't log on to Ubuntu uh, what you need to uh, the, the correct account is Vagrant so just use the Vagrant password we are logged in and we can um, we don't want to upgrade to the latest uh, Ubuntu because uh, we're we are going to stay with the uh, Ubuntu 16.04 so now you have the Ubuntu, Ubuntu desktop uh, you have everything you need so what you need to do is go to uh, slash pink 
you see the folder is still shared with the um, pink dash vagrant in your host machine so you just need to run those uh, install those settings tools now okay now since you have logged on to the uh, ubuntu desktop you can just uh, um, install those settings tools so since we already put those settings setup files inside uh, slash pink so we can just run uh, slash settings revival and then you should be able to be able to install those tools and then just follow the same uh, passes for that's the SOC as well as pattern and expand you should be fine and then uh, we stop here so after you install those tools and you uh, source the correct corresponding settings in your tools then you should be able to build your uh, SD card for your own uh, platform or for your own board okay I hope you like this video uh, just leave me any comment if you have any question um, thanks bye